I'm out here in front of one of the oldest and largest art museums in the United States. It's the Art Institute of Chicago, right here in Chicago. Did you guys know that 1.5 million people come to visit this museum every single year? And did you also know it has over 300,000 works of art inside of it? We're not gonna be looking at all 300,000 today. We're gonna be looking at one piece and that piece is about pointillism. So let's go take a look. Here we are inside the Art Museum, the Art Institute of Chicago. And we are standing right in front of George Seurat's A Sunday on La Grande Jarrie, one of the most famous paintings in the entire world. Now, Seurat was focused a lot on the idea of science and art together. The idea of mixing with your eyes, which is called optical mixture. And we're looking at this really large piece that's housed here in the Art Institute of Chicago. So this artwork took two years for him to make. Let's step a little bit closer. And as we move a little bit closer to this, we can start to see that we can identify little tiny dots. Now, we're not gonna be able to see those dots until we get really close, and that's the reason he made his painting this way, is he wanted you to step back, look at his painting, and mix with your eyes. Mix all those colors. So now let's get really close. Let's take a really close look at it. Okay, now what I can see is I can start to see all of these different dots. It's really cool how many different colors he used. He's putting different colors dots next to each other and then letting us mix them with our eyes. Again, that's called optical mixture. Now, two years is a long time for an artist to make something, so we know that this piece was really important to him. And it's really exciting that this piece is here in Chicago for us to take a look at it. Today we're going to be working with optical mixtures and we're going to be using his technique called pointillism and we're going to create our own artwork. Let's go ahead and let's get started. For this art lesson all you're going to need is a sheet of paper, a pencil, and something to color with. You can use um, Markers, crayons, whatever you like. If you're gonna use markers, try to use the thin tip ones. They work better for this. Now there's two ways to hold your paper. There is portrait and landscape. I'm gonna stick with landscape because I'm creating a landscape. And at the top, I'm going to make a horizon line. My horizon line is horizontal and it is at the top of my paper. Then I'm going to put in a vanishing point. And now I'm going to make where the separation of the land and the water. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna just come down to my corner and it can wobble a little bit because water would brush up against the shoreline here and it's not gonna be a perfect diagonal line. Then what I'm gonna do in this back corner is I'm gonna build a cityscape. And this is done with just rectangles. Now, if you wanna add in details like the Willis Tower, the Bean, make it all about Chicago, that would be amazing. If you're doing this and you don't live in Chicago, you can make your city. And I'm gonna stop right about there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you uh, what point a, li a little more about pointillism and optical mixtures, but you get to decide, you get to use your creativity and decide who is on this beach and what are they doing. And I'm excited to see different thoughts about that. So let's go ahead and start with just showing you um, pointillism. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. And for pointillism, what pointillism is, is it's just making these dots instead of coloring it in a space. And then what you're doing is you're putting another color next to it. And the idea is when you back up, your eyes are gonna start to mix these dots together. So instead of mixing paint on a palette, we're gonna be making dots, filling up all full of dots and letting your eyes mix it. Now these back areas like the city back here, I might use black dots, but I might go ahead and mix them with gray. Now, Seurat took, took about two years to make his work of art, 
we don't, we, we don't have two years to spend on this, but I want you guys to take your time. Do your best, be creative. Think about what other colors would mix well together. Don't just think about one color. Syrah wasn't just mixing two colors together. He was mixing three, four, five colors together and watching how that your eyes did that optical mixture. All right, this is today's lesson. Um, I'm excited to see the work you guys come out with and I'm excited for us to learn a different technique. I'm Mr. Mariani. I can't wait to see you guys next time.